Trapping and Processing Game, Chapter 10, the last chapter in this Bushcraft 101 by Dave Canterbury. All right, trapping is as much as an art form is as tracking, but there are many ways to increase your chances of success. Once you have studied the concepts of tracking, it becomes a matter of understanding trap placement, okay? Patience and statistics. The more traps you set, the more chances you have on catching something and eating, okay? It makes a big difference. All right. Traps are designed generally to perform one of three main functions, crush, strangle, or live capture. The type of trap you set in its function will depend on the game you desire to trap. Remember that while live food never spoils, handling an angry raccoon can be a dangerous game. So discretion in trapping is always wise. All right, don't go out there and break your fingers trying to set traps that you don't know nothing about. Now these here traps, I've used these before in the past and they're real good about catching uh, coons and possums and skunks for that matter. You don't want a skunk, that's for sure. But um, one of my favorite are the cable snares. And Dave Canterbury doesn't go a whole lot into the cable snares. But what I can tell you, they're easy to make. They're easy to put in your backpack. And they also um, take up little or no room. Um, cable snares are made from a steel cable. But you can also use you know anything that you can find handy to make the snare as long as it'll hold the uh the game that you're trying to trap okay um so what i found a lot of times is you see this little crevice is that you make a run where the game is going to go through and you set your cable snare and it's going to catch it and it's going to either tie around its leg or around its neck or around its body. Now, certain game will chew a leg off to get out of a trap, so you wanna you wanna watch for that. Um, you know, the some of the basic things uh, of of upland trapping, and it really depends on the, the type of traps you're using, the game you're seeking to trap. Um, setting traps on land requires a bit more equipment than water trapping. Okay. Um, so you want, you want to keep this in mind as well. Okay. Uh, with a foothold trap, it's one in which the animal is held fast generally by the foot, like it says, and remains alive until the arrival of the trapper. Okay. Uh, the components of these traps, you know, you can see in the diagrams and all, and you can get these traps at fairly cheap places. Now, on this one right here that's on the screen, you can make this with a um, a split uh, log if you don't have anything to tie it on and, you know, set it tight on there. Now, trapping, like I said, does take time and does take patience. So, you know, you're going to have to have those things. And the more traps you set, the more you're going to catch and then you have to remember where you set your traps and, and things like that. But this is a surefire way on how to catch game other than hunting. Especially like if you're out in the bush and if it's during an SHT situation, uh, you, you know, they're not going to hear a gunfire or anything like that. The downside to these metal traps is that they weigh a little bit <laughs> they weigh quite a bit especially if you're having to track them in and um you know that's that's the downside to these types of traps now i've, I've used all these traps before and uh what i've found that works best is once again uh some type of bait that is going to attract the game that you're after one thing that i've noticed that everything likes out there is peanut butter they, you know, coons, rabbits, all of them love peanut butter for deer. All of them love peanut butter. Um, now, here comes the fun parts, the processing of the small game. Um, 
Now, just remember, these are things that you may not eat normally, but even right now, you can go out and still trap. But you want to check your laws, your local laws and, and, and permits, you know, at this time because we're not in full SHTF yet. But uh, I've included some uh, some instruction on how to clean fish because I know there are some people out there that really truly don't know how to clean fish. And if this helps you, you can still eat, okay? And uh, this next little uh, clip that's coming up on this fish trap, I find this to be very useful. And now it takes a little bit to figure out where you're going to put it and stuff, but it works. It, it truly works. And it even works like with minnows and, and things like that. Um, now, for those of you who have not eaten coon before, uh, just know that it is very greasy. And yes, they are cute and this, that, and the other, but you know, you can have them for a lot of uses besides just the meat. And I've included some um, some recipes that if you have, you know, a stove or whatever, you can cook those on. But all this stuff can be cooked over a fire, all right? It just can be cooked over a fire on a skewer, and it tastes so good like that. I mean, I tell you what, it tastes so good. And, you know, too, if you've got some uh, other uh, means to cook this stuff up, you can eat okay and uh, go out and find out what the, the the trapping and the regulations are like I said on on all this stuff some counties won't allow you to use certain types of traps you know but uh, and some of them they will now the only thing I didn't include in this is a wild hog and from my understanding it's free range on wild hog any time of the year so you, that's something else you want to look into as well. But uh, you can make a roast over the fire, you know, and this there's all kinds of ways. So there's no need that you're going to have to be starving, okay? You, you, the importance of learning these skills is that it's only going to save your life, all right? And that's why I share these kind of things. Um, and it could take a little get used to uh eating some of this stuff, but I mean, my gosh, look at the stuff that you buy from the store now. You know how long that stuff's been dead? Do some research on it. Anyway, now, these here are plentiful right now, these squirrels. And yeah, they're cute, and same with raccoons, and they don't give a whole lot of meat, but they give meat. And you'll be surprised at what you can do learning these skills on this trapping stuff. I'd rather trap than hunt any day. Um, because for one, it keeps you busy, but, uh, if you've got salt water, you can, you know, soak your squirrel overnight. It does help the meat, uh, tenderize a little bit more, but like I said, in an SHTF situation, <laughs> well, you're going to eat what you can eat. The main thing is that you process them, uh, correctly and that, you know, you don't puncture the guts and you pull the guts out like you're supposed to, and you, you're not eating no hair. And so I've given a little diagram. This is real simple. I mean, and they skin real easy. It'll all come off in one nice slick piece uh, if you do it right. And that's the same with raccoon. You know, you want to clean it and stuff real good. And it, they're easy to skin. Once you figure out how to do it, it it's, it's real easy. It don't take a whole lot, you know, and it's quick. And even with the, the squirrel pelts, there may not be much, but, you know, you can make your pair of nice warm socks out of them if you know how. I'm just saying you got to utilize everything. And two, you know, some of this stuff like the guts on these animals, you can use that as fish bait in those ponds or those catchments that I showed you. So, you know, you're constantly thinking of many uses for each one of these things. Uh, these animals that, that you harvest uh, for your survival, you know, they have plenty of uh, uses. Even the bones, you know, even the bones have uses. You just got to, you know, figure out what to use them for and stuff. But, yeah, I enclose this uh, little diagram thing. Normally, you're not going to have plastic gloves to do this kind of stuff, okay? And you're going to do it near some water 
where you can keep your hands clean and clean the meat and stuff like that. And if you cook the meat properly, most everything nasty will cook off of it. Uh, but once again, disclaimer, don't go out and poison yourself because you don't know what you're doing. Okay? But when the time comes, you'll know how to do these things. And squirrel is, you know, you can get squirrel off your balcony in a lot of places. I feed the squirrels around my place here at my son's house for the simple fact being is I just might have to eat them and at least they'll be fat you know at least enough for at least one meal I mean and it be, might be that one meal that uh, gets you through uh, the next day or the next couple of days things like that so you want to do your research on all this you know don't take my word for it but these are just things that I've done out in the bush that uh, have helped me to survive and I've forced myself to learn these skills because I prepare for worst case scenario that's total grid down uh, a, a WROL uh, uh, without rule of law is what that stands for now a lot of people might cringe on this next one but snapping turtle is really good and you do need to clean this pretty pretty well uh, but there's uses for everything on this and you can use whatever you you don't uh, eat as bait like I said because the fish will come get it or you can try and catch your fox or whatever but when you're hungry you're hungry the shell can be used for a lot of things as well but I've been you know I've uh, put up on here you know on how to how to clean it and how to cook it and, and, and recipes for snapping turtle stew um, and like I said before you want to do your research on these things but these are alternative food sources for SHTF for when shit hits the fan okay and don't be scared that you know you can't do it because you can do it if I can do it you can do it that, that's, that's about all I have to say on that but the wonderful thing is is that there is plenty of alternative foods out there there's no need to worry no need to fret granted that yeah we're not going to have our milk and our eggs and our butter and, and things like that but you can harvest bird eggs and you can eat bird eggs you know they might be small but you might come across something you might come across some wild geese uh nest or wild duck nest you know and you want to have a variety of traps um and you want to have a, a slingshot too because learning how to use a slingshot will will knock the the sense out of an animal okay and, and they're quiet as well but uh you know this right here kind of tells you on how to harvest the the, the turtle and turtles are everywhere they're in every body of water okay you know there's there's no reason to go hungry is what I'm, I'm trying to get at here and um, it, it's, it, it is what it is you prepare for the worst and you pray for the best and know that God is always going to provide food for you there's, there's no doubt you just need to know how to uh, procure it harvest it trap it and hunt it if need be you know, an important thing as well in in trapping is that you want to get to know um, the animal's paw print or the footprint or tracking um, the animal you want to be able to find uh, animal trails and game trails they'll, they'll be apparent it'll be like a trail out in the middle of nowhere but all the animals go to it and you'll find them mostly around bodies of water or that they lead to water and uh, you'll be able to find droppings and things like that and uh, to kind of put you on your way that you're in the right direction um, so you know snapping turtle in a pot I suggest that you try this it's a little bit different but it is what it is now this right here is my favorite frog legs or toad legs oh excuse me and sometimes these things are so expensive in the store it's ridiculous when you just go out and get them yourself but uh, there's a lot of websites on all these animals that I've listed on here as far as trapping and 
hunting and processing and it, it's really amazing that uh there are so many but like i said you want to do your your research and you know all this food is is high in all kinds of protein and vitamins and you know potassium and and things like that and frog legs are really good over a campfire on a skewer oh man that stuff just makes your mouth water the best thing is too is you, if you can find you some wild garlic you know and if you have any way to have butter make you some homemade garlic butter and dip those frog legs in that oh my gosh you talk about a delight now this next little uh, image here is how you can dry meat out over a fire so you can put it in your pack if you need to if, you know if you if you're you're moving okay um and and it, it's really easy we went over on how to make a tripod on a on a couple chapters back it's not hard and you just put it over the top of the thing and you smoke it you know um, I've included some other recipes for like hard tack uh, that you can make now uh, in your home uh, to sustain you uh, it's real simple uh, you know and it'll do the job as far as you know you having the the calories and the nutrients that you need and uh, you know it's something that you can get together and, and put it in a little package and, and stuff but overall I thought that you know this would be an important video for those who are serious about survival see you can survive whatever's coming you can survive uh, at least with, with the food situation because of course not everybody's gonna make it so that you know increases your odds of survival and that's just the hard truth um, and if you know how to do these things, you'll have, you know, a lot better chance and in the odds of being in your favor, may the odds ever be in your favor. But, um, you know, beaver is another thing too, that, you know, you can, you can, you can get, uh, and trap and hunt. Um, and I don't have too many beavers down here in this area where I'm at because I'm in the desert, but I included that. Here's some uh, wild herbs. Now, once again, this is not no means, you know, something that I want you to go out and do right now, but you need to, you know, check and make sure you are able to, to ingest some of this stuff. But, you know, you can find these things to make that food better that you are trapping out in the wild. Thank you for listening and watching and like the video. Bye.